Okay. So this is our workout. We're going to do, I believe it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine drills to do. Nine we drills to do. Tennis balls, but we do have three big balls. That's not going to work because you have to catch. You have to be able to catch it in one hand. So you know what we'll do, Isla? Yeah. I'm going to change it since you're outside. Do you guys have? Do you have three balls like that? Yeah, we have three okay. balls. Okay. So I'm basically going to ask. I'm going to basically ask you to dribble. Okay. So you have to dribble one. You're going to do that. You're going to do it as a. You're going to do it as a dribbling drill, rather than a catch drill. Okay. Okay. So I'll explain it to you. You're not going to need it to last. So yeah. we have nine exercises that we're going to do. We're going to do each one for a minute. I want you to keep count of what you're doing. This is so I can help you understand how you're growing. Here is the problem with keeping count. Everybody always falls into the idea of competing with somebody else. I don't want you competing with someone else. You're only competing with yourself. You're only competing with yourself. So Isla, your group is going to be a perfect example. If there, there are three of you, I give you a drill to do. And after the minute, you say, I got 30 done. And your friends didn't do 30, but they don't want you to beat them. So they go, I did 32. That's not helping the drill because it's not making them any better. So I don't care about you guys doing better than anybody else. I just care about you doing your best and we can grow from there. All right. Also, when we get to, your, you and your friends want to play the game with us, right, Isla? You guys want to play the game at the end? Okay. So the game at the end, when we finish, I'm going to have to give you time to go inside because the game at the end is a scavenger hunt. And I've got a bunch of things that you'll have to get from inside, okay? Okay. All right, so I'll give, I mean, I'll give you time before we go to do it. And welcome to Isla's Friends. How are you? Isabel, My name is, and then who is this? Isabel, and then this is Ruth. Hi. Isabel and Ruth? Yeah, yeah. Isabel. Nice Ruth. to meet you guys. My name is Pastor Edwards. I will be the controller of you getting really tired and your muscles sore today. That's my job, and I love my job. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're gonna do for our warm up. We're gonna do a quick warm up. We're gonna do one minute warm ups. So here's what we're gonna do we're gonna do three exercises, we're gonna do them for one minute. So we're going to run in place for one minute, we're gonna do jumping jacks for one minute, and we're going to do skaters for one minute. So a skater is the idea of standing up and one leg to the other, jumping from one leg to the other like you were an Olympic skater. When you jump, whichever leg goes behind you, that's the arm that crosses. Whichever leg goes behind you is the arm that crosses. So you're gonna be just like an Olympic skater. We're gonna do two rounds of that, actually, yeah, we're gonna do two rounds of that, so it'll be six minutes. So right now, I'm gonna be, who's technical? Okay, so they have to reconnect. The Bergmans will be back. So I'm gonna start off with a little music. When you run, just remember your run rules. Knees are high, elbows at 90, chests are open, eyes on the horizon, landing on your midfoot, Heels leaning. Thank you. Ankles are leaning. Heels pulling. Boom. We'll start with we'll start with this song. I think it's popular. Used to be popular. It's pro it's old now because I think it's like a year old now. So it's an old song. All right. So jogging in place, getting warmed up, starting in five. Four, three, two, and go. Jogging in place. Jogging in place. For those of you who do not know, this is Coach Natasha. She is our she is our assistant coach for class. She will be the example because she is in ridiculous shape. So she will be the example. 
pay attention every once in a while. If you guys are awesome, I'm gonna switch the camera to you. When I switch the camera to you, something is gonna pop up on your screen saying, you know, you've been this, just leave it alone, don't worry. Because normally I'm showing you as doing something, and if I show you as doing something and then you run to your screen and fix it, people aren't looking at you doing what I wanted. So don't worry about it, just ignore it and just keep going. There you go, knees are high, knees are high. I want to see this group out here exercising in the great outdoors together. Exercising in the great, if you run. There you go. Now everyone jumping jacks, jumping jacks. One minute of jumping jacks. One minute of jumping jacks. Great job, whoa. Look at this, look at this brother and sister duo. This brother and sister duo. There we go, nice done, nicely done. One minute, one minute. Nice job, Xavier. Nice job. 20 seconds. Wow, look at all these brother, look at all these siblings. Oh, I pinned you, sir. Look at all these siblings I've got. Keep going, keep going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and skaters, go. Make that jump really big, really big, springing across. As you get warmed up, try to make it faster. Make it a big jump. You're not actually on ice, Lucas, so jump. Don't go for it, jump across to across. There you go, back away from the screen. I wanna see you, back away. How many inches have you gotten on that hair during this virus, Lucas? Your hair looks like, it looked like you gained like six inches on your hair. 20 seconds. Nice job. Staying on it, staying on it. One leg to the other, one leg to the other. Make it a big jump, big jump. Keep going guys, bigger jump, bigger jump. Five, four, three, two, and run in place, one more minute, run in place. Run in place again, run in place, run in place. There you go, jogging around your room if you want to, jogging around your yard, get some exercise, see some sights, see some sights back there. There you go, hello again, guys. 30 more seconds, 30 more seconds. There we go. Who's faster, Carl or Hector? Who's faster? Who's faster? There you go, Carla, you're getting so tall. You're getting so tall. 15 seconds. I remember you were small enough to fit in your mommy's belly. <laughs> Uh-oh. Lucas, Lucas is doing laps around the house again. And jumping jacks, jumping jacks. Give me those jumping jacks. Well done, Rebecca, well done. Nicely done, lady, nicely done. Come on, last two minutes, last two minutes. Hello there, sir. There we go. I don't know, Victor, I think your hair has gotten long too. It looks like it's beating up your face every time you do a jumping jack. <laughs> You're not gonna let your mom cut your hair? <laughs> there we go. How are the Bash and Bergman brothers doing? The Bash and Bergman brothers. I know I see one over there in the corner. 10, there he is, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and last skaters, last minute of skaters, last minute of skaters. Try to get some, there you go, try to get some really big jumps. Swing those arms, swing those arms. Big jumps. Well done, so brothers, well done. 
Well done, well done. There we go, beautiful job. Come on, put a little bit more into it, Lucas. Trying to win this race, go faster. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Jump further, nice. Nice. Keep it going, keep it going. And 20 seconds, 20 seconds. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and relax. Awesome. Okay, that's six minutes. Everybody feel warmed up? Great, great, great. So again, so today is Friday. So for, I muted everybody's mics, so don't worry. So Isla's friends, hold on. Isla's friends, can you guys hear me? Okay, so just giving you an idea, our class happens on Monday and Wednesdays. Friday is our skills day. So Friday is our skills day. So on Fridays, all the techniques that we work on all week or the whole, pre we kind of just focus on them. So today won't necessarily be a, um, like a hard day. So you joined a good day. Today won't be a day where you're like, you can ask Isla. So some classes that Isla finishes and she's laying on the floor like this. <sighs> I hate about that was he tried to kill me. He tried to kill me. So, <laughs> but that's not gonna be what today is. Today is gonna be what we call kind of like a, um, a border, not a borderline, uh, a litmus test or a borderline of showing what you can do and what you have to improve on, all right? So our first one, where's Coach Natasha? Our first one what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do what's called a high plank. There are two different types of planks we're gonna do today. We're gonna do a high plank and a low plank. A high plank is basically being in a push-up position. So if you can see Coach Natasha, turn to the side from Coach what? What so if you can see Coach Natasha, if you look, her arms are lined up with her shoulders, her chin is ahead of her hands, her feet are together, her back is flat, her butt's not in the air, it's not dropping down, she's tight. If you guys were to hit her stomach, Coach Natasha has like 16 abs. You see <laughs> that it's really tight there, all right? So, and look at her head. Her head stays in what's called neutral position. Neutral is as if she was standing up straight how her head would be. So when you walk, when you walk, you don't walk like this, and you don't walk like this. You walk with your head in its neutral position, all right? So right now, what you're gonna try to do is, is you're gonna try to hold a plank for one minute. Now, if you fall out of your plank, that is okay. Just put yourself back into it again and just last for as long as you can. Keep your core tight. Your core is your stomach and your lower back. Are we ready? So everybody in plank position, starting the clock in three, two, one, and go. Yes, I know Mr. Bergman, a couple of people, they turned their mic. That's a low plank, guys. I want you in a high plank. Remember how on your hands, I don't, like Isla is, there you go. Staying in a high plank for one minute. Keep your head at neutral, means don't drop your head. And remember, turn sideways for a minute. And remember what I said, look at Coach Natasha's arms. Her hands are even with her shoulders. Her head is ahead of her fingers. There, see these guys right here are a good one too. If you look at the So Brothers, See where the shoulder, their arms and shoulders are? Nice. Almost there. Nice job, Rebecca. Keep your knees off the ground. Come on, get those hips up in the air, kids. Come on, keep those, get, get those hips up. Get those hips up, get that chest off the ground. Three, two, and one, relax. Awesome job. Everybody, so now what we're gonna do is to show how great we did. Everybody give me a rhythm clap. One, two, three, one, two, three. Awesome job. So now our second goal is going to do sit-ups. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna put yourself in your sit-up position. Everybody watch Coach Natasha in her sit-ups. Her hands are behind her head. You can keep your head, 
and she's gonna raise her shoulders up all the way and then back down. She's not gonna let her head hit the floor. She's not gonna do it for me. She's not gonna no. She's not gonna raise her hips up before she does a sit up. She's not gonna go like that and bounce her way up. She's just gonna curl herself up. I want you to keep count for yourself. All right. So in the minute, I want you to tell me how many you did in a minute. Here we go. Five, four, three, two. Why are you not ready, Carla and Hector? We're supposed to be doing sit-ups. You're supposed to be laying down. And as many sit-ups as a minute as you can. And go. As many as you can. As many as you can. There you go. Keeping your hands up. Do not grab your butt. Try to keep your hand behind your head if possible. All the way up. 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 Keep them going. Try to keep your hands behind your head if you can. I don't want momentum. Hands behind your head, Mr. Bergman. Hands behind your head. There you go. Hands behind your head, Lucas, not grabbing your butt. Hands behind your head. Hands behind, your head. Hands behind your head. thank you. Try to keep your hands behind your head, Xavier. There we go. Hands behind your head, Edmund and Tristan. I know I'm not speaking yeah, Greek. Hands behind your me. head. Keep going. Come on. Keep going, Xavier. Five, four, three, two, and one. Time. Awesome. So now, right now, everybody close their eyes and look at the screen. And on your hands, show me how many sit-ups you got done. I can... Nice, nice, awesome, awesome, awesome. 15, 20, 15, Joey, 15, awesome. 20, great job, 21, 21, awesome, Lucas. How many, Edmund? 32, awesome. How many, Xavier? 31, Tristan, 33, 33, 35. Thirty-five, awesome. How can you forget to count, Victor? It's what I said. <laughs> I said count. How many did you get done, Hector? You go. I don't know. I didn't count. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So now, next practice, we're gonna do wall sits. If you are outside and you can't do a wall sit, what you're gonna do is, Isla, show your friends how you do your perfect horse stance. Show them a horse stance. Yes. Stand up and show them a horse stance. Show them a horse stance. Now bring, cross your hands like you're a genie. Cross your arms like you're a genie. Okay, bend your knees more. So you guys are gonna have to stay in there. You guys are gonna have to stay in that position for one minute. Here we go. Deep breath, everybody else. If you're in a room and you can find a wall, Find a wall to sit yourself up against. Make sure your butt comes down as low as your knees. So watch Coach Natasha. Her butt comes down to her even with her knees. All right? Okay, so deep breath. Starting in five, four, three, two. Go all the way down and hold. Do not put your hands on your thighs to hold yourself up. And if you find that you have to stand up, that's okay. Stand up and then go back down again. Nice job, Carla and... Nice job, Carla and Hector. Keep your back up straight. Back up straight. How they doing, ma'am? How they doing? I got one... Where'd the third one go? They're walking around. She's not doing her... What's she doing? Ruth, what are you doing? I've got eyes everywhere, Ruth. I can still see you hiding. I still see you. There you are. I see you. <laughs> Drop that body down. There you go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and time. Awesome. Shake your legs out. Now we're going to do, whoa. 
So here is our king right here. Everybody look at Edmund. So Edmund, show everybody how to do a push-up. Do them slow for me, okay, Edmund? See how his elbows, go ahead. His elbows go, see where his elbows are? His elbows are close to his body. They're not out like angel wing. They're close to his body. Do we see how his shoulders and elbows and hands are lined up? His head is at neutral. Do one more, Edmund. He goes down and up. All right, thank you, Edmund. So here's our goal. I'm going to give you guys a minute. You're going to count how many you do in a minute. None from your knees. <laughs> I'm going to go to Edmund. None on your knees. Anytime you have to go to your knees, I want you to just relax until you can do another one full up. And look at me, guys. This is not a push-up. Get tired, so you go like this. This is not a push-up, all right? This is not a push-up. So what I want you to do is, is I want you to take that sock that I gave you, that I had you get, I want you to take that soccer ball, and I want you to put it on the ground right over under your chest, right under your chest. And what I want you to do is, is when you're doing your push-ups, I want your chest to touch that ball. I want your chest to touch that ball. Are you ready? And every, the only time you count your push-up is if your chest touches that ball. All right? That's the only time it, that's the only time it counts. And if you have to go to, if you have to rest, rest. That's okay. Ready? Here we go. One minute. Five, four, three, two, and go. As many as you can, making your chest touch that ball. And I want you to count. I want to know how many you did. I don't think anybody is going to catch Edmund. Oh, Tristan's going to try, though. Come on. I see a bunch of heads bobbing up and down. Are we working? Am I calling your name again, Ruth? Come on, up and down. Come on, Isla. You're my assistant coach while you're there, Isla. Nice job. Bring those sit. Bring those. Bring those. Chest touches that ball. Chest touches that ball. Keep your elbows close to your body. Nice. Hector, I'm very impressed. Those are really great. Xavier, those are awesome. Five more seconds, guys. Come on. Don't stop for five seconds, Xavier. Come on. How many you get in? Five, four, three, two, and relax. Awesome job. Okay. So how many did you do, Victor? 20. Great. That's awesome. Hold on a second. How many did you do, Mr. Bergman? Do it again. 10? 10 or how many did you do, Lucas? 10? 11? Yeah. How many did you do, Hector? No, just show it. Nice. And how many did you do? 52, 40? Awesome job, guys. So, guys, again, how many did you do, Xavier? 35. That's a good number. That's a good number, guys. So, realize for your, on your, if I were to show you for your white and blue, for white, you only have to get 10, five perfect push ups. For your yellow, your highest is 20. So if you're doing, how many did you do, Ruth, um, Isla's friends? I forgot the other girl's name. Isabel. 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 Twins, Show me on your hands, Isabel. How many did you do? 10, 15. That's a good number. 15 is a great number. That means you, you went past your, you're already into your blue shirt. How many did you do, Ruth? Show me in your hands. I can like hands. show hands. 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 Eight. That's good. So that's good. that's good. That's a good number. All right, guys. So now we're gonna do another one. So now we're gonna do is we're gonna do squats. Where is a great person who does squats? Do 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 do. Isla, 
Can you show your friends how to do a, pro a proper squat? Turn sideways. Get off of the swing. <laughs> Turn and show us a, a squat, Isla. Show us a squat, Isla. You show us a squat. Beautiful. So you want your hip, you need your butt to come down as high as your knees. That's a good one. So now what we're going to do is we're going to see how many we can get done in a minute. Are we ready? I'm thinking today that Edmund is on a roll and he's going to be blazing them out. Here we go. Standing up. Starting in five, four, three, two, and go. As many squats as you can in a minute. As many as you can in a minute. As many as you can. Well done. Well done. Great job, Mr. Bergman. Wow, Xavier, Mr. Bergman. You guys are rocking. Up and down, Rebecca. Up and down, Rebecca. Just like that, up and down. Beautiful. Bring that butt. That butt has to go as low as your knees. It has to get parallel with your knees. Awesome. Come on, 30 seconds left. Drop that butt a little bit more, Xavier. Those are really great. Those are really great, Mr. Bergman. Awesome. Keep your ankles a little more. You need to be a little bit more stable, Victor, and sit your butt back. Stop letting your knees go forward. Butt back, like you're sitting on a chair behind you. 10 seconds. Those are really good, Lucas. Come on, Rebecca, I see you, up and down. Keep your knees straight ahead. Three, two, and one. Time, awesome. Who did more than 20? Who did more than 20? Who did more than 25? Who did more than 30? Who did more than 35? Who did more than 40? Who did more than 50? Who did more than 55? Who did more than 60? Okay, so understand 60 is the highest point for your blue shirt. So if you got 60 in a minute, great job. Next time we're in school, though, we're going to make sure that everybody's dropping down low enough, keeping their knees stable, all right? I got to check the time, guys. Okay, so you guys kind of, I'm not going to say lucked out. Isla, if you're going to do the scavenger, you got to run inside real fast. What did you get? Okay, so I had two more things to do, but I ran out of time. We're going to do our burpee box jump and our, shot and our, um, our ball jump. Which is why I just had a chance to do that because I have to finish with the game. So here's what we're going to do. I have a game for everybody. It's a scavenger hunt. So I am going to pull up some items, and you guys have to run and try to quickly find these items in your house and bring them back to the screen to me. And we're going to see who gets the most items. And when you get it back to it, when you get back with it, leave it here so we can count to see who got the most items. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I don't know. Isla, you got, so Isla, I'm going to let you guys share items because some of the items you can, so some of the items you're only going to have, you're not going to have three of them in your house. Some, but the ones that you have three, you guys have to bring all, you all have to bring one. Okay. But like the first one would be hard because I'm sure you're not going to have three of them. in your How many pieces did I get? 52. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. On your mark, get set. Are you ready, Rebecca? And I need everybody to bring me a colored pencil or pen that's not blue or black. A colored pencil or pen that's not blue or black. Beautiful, there's one. Fast, a colored pencil or pen that's not blue or black. I got a red one from Isla. I got, there we go, I got a purple marker from Hector and Carla. I got a red pen, I got a red. You got a nice. There we go. Okay. Now leave it there so you can get so you can tell me how many of the items you get by the end of the by the end of our scavenger hunt. Are you ready? Great job, Rebecca. Item number two. Bring me a spatula. 
Mm -hmm. Spatula is the thing your mom, your mom or dad flips pancakes with, or eggs. Bring me a spatula. You're gonna have to find it in the kitchen. There's a very fast, very fast. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. No, Vader, you're not having pancakes. <laughs> your dog saw the spatula. Was like pancake time. Pancake time. Yes, absolutely. Okay, ready? Now this one's gonna get a little tougher. Bring me an avocado. Who's got an avocado? Avocados. Who's got an avocado? Who do not have avocados? <laughs> <laughs> Who's got an avocado in the house? Oh, there's one. There we go. Isla's for Isla's team's got an avocado. Oh, the Bergman's got an avocado. Oh wow! Xavier brought enough avocados for everybody. <laughs> oh, Rebecca's got an avocado. Okay, ready? Next, bring me a fruit. Any fruit, any fruit, any fruit. Any fruit, any fruit, any fruit. Bananas, the fruit. Yes. Oh, bananas. pineapple. That's an exotic fruit. Got to buy a banana and an orange. Is that a nectarine or is that a peach? An apple. Would you bring me, Xavier? And lemon. Would you bring me blueberries? Nice. Okay, ready? Bring me, if you brought me a fruit, what do you think you got to bring me? Got to bring me a vegetable. Bring me a vegetable. Give me a vegetable. Give me a vegetable. Give me a vegetable. Vegetable, 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 vegetable. Who's fastest back with a vegetable? Fastest back with a vegetable. Ooh, tomatoes. You could have done both of those, Rebecca, because you could, some people consider a tomato a fruit. Is that a mushroom? A potato? Yes. A cucumber? Nice, nice, nice. Never a banana. What'd you get, Mr. Bergman? Tomato. What'd you get, Victor? Cucumber. Okay, ready? Bring me a healthy carbohydrate. This is a carbohydrate? You guys got to know what a carbohydrate is. What's well, a carbohydrate? I Bring me a healthy carbohydrate. A healthy carbohydrate. Let's see if you're... There you go, potato. Is that a potato? No, a Thomas English muffin. It was wheat. Yes, there we go. Nice, good. Wheat bread. Good, Rebecca. Nice. Would you get... Hold on a second. Oh, yes. Oatmeal. Steel cut. That's very good. That So that is right there, guys. That's the best carbohydrate that anybody's brought. She brought steel oatmeal. That's a great carbohydrate. Nice job. Ready? And bring me a piece of exercise equipment. Anything that's exercise equipment. That was an easy one for you, Victor. That was an easy one for Victor. Wait. Oh, Xavier, that's a good one. You <laughs> I got you, Xavier, the elliptical. You brought a weight, good Lucas. Okay, ready? And now, bring me your previous Taekwondo belt. The belt before, so Isla, do you have the belt that you were before you, the belt you are now? My previous. previous Taekwondo belt. Nice job, Jack Bergman. Nice. Now I need your previous Taekwondo belt, Isla. I need the belt before your Bodan belt. I need your high red belt. I'm not in my house. Oh, okay. That's all right. That's okay. That's okay. What happened, Xavier? You're not at home or you don't have it? My, my mom's not anyway. Okay, no problem. It's just for fun. It's just for fun. Okay, and I think this is the last one. Are you ready? Bring me 
a picture of your dad or anybody you consider a father figure. It could be an uncle, a cousin, a family friend, somebody you respect. Anybody that you respect as a, as your, as a father figure. I got a Polaroid photo. Nice. Good job. Bring me a picture of who, whoever you think of as your father figure. Very good, Ruthie. Or is that Isabel? Ruth. That's Ruth or Isabel? Nah, oh, that's a pretty picture, Ruth and Isabel. It's their wedding. Awesome. Very good, Hector and Carla. I think your dad is an awesome father figure. I've known him for years. I knew him before. I knew him before he knew your mommy. So guys, now remember, son, oh, that's a nice picture, Bergman's. You're being funny, you silly guy. <laughs> so whoever you brought as your father figure or whoever you're thinking of, very nice, Rebecca, whoever you're thinking of as your father figure, please make sure that you tell them happy Father's Day on Sunday. Please give them a hug. Give them all the respect that they deserve for the role model and example that they're setting for you. All right? Don't forget to do that. And I don't know if you can see my face. So don't forget to do that. And also from me to you, everybody just, everybody. So today is Juneteenth. Raise your hand if you know what Juneteenth is. If you know what the holiday Juneteenth is. Okay, so Juneteenth is a um, African-American holiday. What it is is, is the, it, was the la, it was the day that the last state in the union, which happened to be Texas, was able, they were announced the Emancipation Proclamation, which was the ending of slavery. So today is a pretty big day. What you guys could do is, is as you're looking through Father's Day, make sure you congrats, make sure you give your father or your father figure a lot of love. And maybe look up and research what Juneteenth is. Okay, it's spelled Juneteenth. It's every it's every single year. It is the it's the last it's the la the day that the last state in the Union, the United States, recognized and was announced of the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation. All right, so great job, guys. Find out a fact, learn something, love something, be your best, flame on, and I love you all. Great job. Thank you for joining us, Iowa's friends. Okay. You guys have fun. Awesome job. I will see everyone on. Monday. Have a great weekend. So long, so long, so long.